Uh, hello everybody, this is Bacter, and welcome to Let's Play Gunpoint. Um, this is a Let's Play that I'm very excited about doing. This is for the 2007 style Let's Play threads, which means, compared to what I usually do, this is going to be fairly low effort, in that I'm not planning on including any bonus materials. It's essentially going to be just sort of a guided playthrough of the game, um, a Let's Play, if you will. So this is a game that I like an awful lot. This game is a sort of noir-ish, murder mystery-ish, action stealth puzzle platformer produced by Suspicious Developments, which is Tom Francis, is the guy who came up with this game. It is, uh, it's got a good story, it's got a good sense of humor, it's got fun mechanics, but enough with that intro, let's dive right in. Hard to beat that for an intro, right? <laughs> Guy flung out of the uh, his apartment. All right, that is economy and storytelling. So we are um, apparently a freelance spy who just came out of our apartment over here. And we have been contacted by Selena Delgado, who is an agent of a gun company. Now, I'm kind of been jumping around a little bit, uh, but the main thing that we've got going for us is that we, um, besides having a really cool trench coat and hat, have got this leaping ability. It's due to, well, you'll see later, uh, but we've got the ability to jump around, to cling to walls, climb up them. You can cling to ceilings. The controls are pretty natural and pretty fluid and pretty fast. You just hold down the mouse and aim to jump. You can climb up everywhere like that. You go down and say, hello, Zelina. But she doesn't want to talk to me like this. She wants me to come up the normal way. This is a really good economy and storytelling, incidentally. I don't know, this is a, introduces us to Conway, that's the, the main character, and just shows us what he's capable of doing. So we're supposed to go upstairs. This is Rook, the firearms company, apparently. Okay, we can't get through the handprint scanners. Can't get through the locked door. We turn on and off the lights, that's cool. Up the stairs we go. Oh gosh. Yeah, if you were watching up there, that guy who kind of looks a lot like us went through the doorway, shot her, and <laughs> leapt out the window to finish the job. I might uh, rewind the video to catch that again if I were you. Let's turn off all the lights so things are less suspicious. Um, here we have a security camera. This is a circuit box. Not really anything we can do about him at this point. All we can do is sort of follow after. It is impossible to catch up to Selena and prevent her unfortunate demise. There's nothing really up here that we can interact with. We are not capable yet of breaking through windows or anything like that. But we can sure follow after. Mm, sorry lady. Incidentally, I really like the background art in this city. It's got that nice rainy noir feel. I notice how the, the rain sound only starts when you go outside. That's real neat. Okay, I've been taking my sweet time, but the end of every level is a subway terminal like this, so we, we leave. This is actually the exact amount of time it took. And see, there we go, Bullfrog brand hyper trousers. Um, I've got a whole bunch of neat, weird stuff in my little crappy apartment here. I guess this is more of an office than hopefully where I live. Shatter glass and these windows and children. <laughs> Uh, obviously I see no need <laughs> and mystery one is solved I really like that intro anyway so yeah the plot thickens basically immediately we waste no time messing about although we have no idea who that was this is going to be our main screen where we get contacted for jobs 
go. Notice that the camera did record us like we thought there, so we are the prime suspect at this point. And there are usually about three um, dialogue choices. They all are of... They're all entertaining enough. Some of them are more serious than others. I'm just going to pick whatever I want to because this is my LP and you are along for the ride. <laughs> That's the best. So Melanie Rook is obviously not a particularly nice person, although we seem to be on the same side for now. And we have our first mission, which is fairly compelling. Fair enough. Okay. So, uh, like I said, this is the main uh, screen. I really like the music in this game, incidentally. So there's the shop where we'll eventually be able to buy a whole bunch of stuff. Some of it for crazy amounts of money. We've got no money right now. So let's ignore that. And for now, we can only upgrade the charge-up time and the jump strength. I tend to go for charge-up time first. Makes it excuse me, easier to jump to and fro. Okay, so this is backed up at a number of places, and we go there, we wipe the data, and we get 30 bucks. Great. Great. Scrubber script. So yeah, the the abilities, uh, our abilities are kind of interesting. We're sort of this old school private eye in that we've got the fedora and the trench coat and we do a lot of jumping around, but we are also definitely a hacker. A lot of what we're going to be doing involves messing with security systems and remote data and things like that. Uh, also, past the first level there are a whole bunch of different ways you can play the game. I'm just going to be playing it through more or less regularly on this first playthrough, uh, but I'll explain things as we get to them. For right now, I could be going very fast and getting a quick rating on this level. I've already lost it, by the way, just by dallying around uh, this much. You can be very quick, you can leave no witnesses. Um, I just like to turn off the lights. You can do no violence and... Uh, there is a fourth thing as well. Speed, no witnesses, no violence, and I think the no noise is the, the last one. So on most levels there's a main objective, which is the computer terminal up here, and there are also these laptops with private data. Uh, I'm going to scroll through these fairly quickly, but I'm going to take a screenshot and leave them by the posts, because I don't need to wait long enough for everybody to read all those things. Elevators are one of the two ways of getting up and down, besides stairs and jumping, I guess. Elevators, you have to call them, and it takes the elevator a while to get there. Uh, but as long as you're in here, in the elevator, guards can't see you. Spoiler alert, I guess there will be guards later. When you get to the secure terminal, typically all you have to do is hack it, and you do your little thing there, and now we've erased the data from this building. Uh, because I'm not going to play through in any particular way, I'm going to go ahead and leave through the window there. Falls from any height don't hurt. You can uh, you can never fall enough to hurt yourself, which is handy because we will be falling quite a long ways. 
Anyway, you see the four things here. Violence, witnesses, noise, and time. I get gentleman for no violence, uh, goes for no witnesses, noise, and time, as I say. I hacked all the laptops. The client is very happy with me. Typically, uh, each client will have different things that they want, so you just make sure that whichever one of these four they want to be minimized is in fact minimized, and you get your good client rating. I'm going to go for an A-plus rating on all levels, but besides that, as I say, I'm not going to be playing through any particular way. Probably after I finish my main run, I'll do just like four long plays. Actually, two long plays, probably. One where I go for no kills, no injuries, which is complete gentleman all the way through, and one where I go for um, the least time possible, which is lightning. Thoughtful is obviously very slow. Those don't impact how much money you get, incidentally. So there we go. I like to be sassy. Okay, between every successful mission we get an upgrade, so I'll continue on that route. We still don't have enough money for anything. So here we go. I guess you can't order the security guards away for enter for whatever reason. Sure. All right, let's rock. As it says, guard shoot on sight. Uh, if the guard can see you, then the cursor will be red. You jump on one to pin him. Once he's down, bop, and he's gone. Now I'm going to show off a couple things. So I am going to do a restart. If you want to get through with no kills, no injuries, the way to do it is to jump on him and jump off. Cling to the ceiling, he can't see you and he will begin patrolling, or you can shut off the light and force him to begin patrolling. If a light switch is shut off, guards move immediately to it to try to turn it back on. Later, when you're able to affect whether uh, light switches turn on and off and on lights, then you can permanently shut off lights in different areas. But for now, you can only do it for a minute. Uh, when the light switch is off, you can't really see us. So there we go. One punch puts the guy down forever. He's never going to get back up. And so that's really all that it takes. The preferred way to do this is to just bop. And he's down for good. However, let's show off two other things. If I should be so foolish as to show up in his field of view, boom, he can shoot you from quite a long distance. So it definitely behooves you to sneak up on them. And if I'm feeling particularly sadistic, I like the little dialogue down here. Conway. Conway. <laughs> and they do count for you. Alright, I'm gonna go for the big 2-0-0. I think. Assuming I can type this first and click fast enough for this not to be annoying. All right, there we go. Uh, so yeah, now he's basically hamburger at this point, but I don't want to be a murderer necessarily, so we're just going to do this the rational way. Bop. Okay, now here's our hidden laptop. Again, I will post that in the thread, so no worries there. We can't open this, um, but as we said, if it's dark, then they move directly for the light switch, opening whatever doors they need to along the way. If something bad should happen to them in the meanwhile, well, that's just a crying shame. They w are able to shoot you if you jump at them from the front sometimes, although they do tend to miss more if you're going to do that. So there we go. Client liked us because we didn't uh, leave anything. Non-lethal is not as good as gentleman, but still pretty good. And ninja, is, uh, we didn't make any noise at all. Obviously, witnesses, there are witnesses even if you... Uh, as it says, anyone you pounced on but didn't kill. So just pouncing on somebody, you still leave witnesses. As far as I know, it is completely impossible 
to beat the game both with gentlemen and with uh, no witnesses. There's a couple times, this level is one, where you have to either take a witness or a death. Okay. Obviously different people care about uh, you being peaceful or not peaceful, but the game doesn't end ever. Like, everybody will keep working with you, even if you're a psychopath or a pacifist. So we get our first thing we can purchase, and we need to purchase it, actually, to move on to the next thing. So let's buy the crosslink. Now we start to get into the real meat of the game. Uh, we're going to Ellis Street now. Okay. Nothing real new over there. I do like they have the case notes, though, because the story can get a little confusing, so it's nice to be able to refer to it. So, as they say, everything is connected, handled in software, and software can be hacked. Since we've got the crosslink, we can do all this hacking ourselves. It's a little hard to explain, but it's very easy and intuitive once you see it done. It's all done by phone, of course, making this technically a better game than Watch Dogs was at being Watch Dogs. Man, listen to that nice sax and piano. Mm. Sure. Let's rock. Okay. So, with the crosslink, we've basically got two of the three major components. One is the bullfrog, obviously. Here is our hidden laptop, quote-unquote. Okay, now let's go how this works. At any time, I can switch between crosslink mode and regular mode. One of the advantages of crosslink mode is I can scroll around and see the whole level. So if there's guards that are out of my field of view, I can see what they're doing. The second is you can see the electrical circuits. So right now, the switch goes to the lights, like I'd expect. But I can remove that if I want to. And now the switch does nothing. You can put it back, back it goes. However, anything that's the same color, I can move this over, voila, the door is open. I can now get through, do my hack, turn off the lights, because that's sort of my thing. I don't really feel like breaking the glass this time. Just who knows why. Up a go, and out. This is a, it's a nice little tutorial section. So there we go. Gentleman, Ghost, and Ninja. Again, I'm dawdling to make my points, so the time is uh, pretty ludicrously bad. Not enough money to buy anything else. Okay. Uh, be careful with power sockets. They'll emit a shock if you cross-link something to them. Hint, hint. Okay, so this is our next place, and it's not significantly different than the last. Nice of them to open the door for us. And look at that. Alright, so first, deal with this guy. So the things we can do with uh, the crosslink are we can open and shut doors. One thing that's a little confusing is... Okay, so if I disconnect this, that means that these uh, handprint scanners will not open doors even if guards go to them. If I connect the light switch to the handprint scanner. It does this, like, two-step thing, where the light switch affects the scanner and the scanner affects the door. If I just connect the light switch to the handprint scanner, nothing. If I go the light switch to the door, I can just bypass that automatically. It's a little confusing. It tripped me up the first time I played. Anyway, not important. Let's get our exit route taken care of, and as we can see, there is a power socket out there. So we simply activate the switch to the power socket, zap, down he goes. Get our hacking done. I also, if I didn't want to do that, I could have... Actually, I don't want to do that. I could have tied this to this. And affected the lights from the first floor. That would be the non-violent at all way to do this. However, this is just non-lethal damage, so it's not a big deal. They don't really get mad until you start killing people. Easy enough. That's our full bullfrog charge-up time, so we're now jumping immediately. Alright, let's uh, take the final 
backup, the data check place on Gershwin and Forth. So, after we've done with this, we are completely free of Selena's murder. It's on three terminals, so this is our first level with three main objectives. I like to be sassy, as I mentioned. <laughs> Thanks, Melanie. Okay, so we've got this guy up here, and if we decide to be fancy and try jumping, bam, takes us right out. Oh, so that's one other thing I guess I forgot to mention about the game that I really like. For a stealthy, puzzly game like this, there is a really good autosave feature. If he takes us out, see it took him a couple shots. We get sometimes a couple choices of where we're going to restore to. But uh, for these, it's just as easy to start the game over. And he won't see us up there if we jump down this way. Okay. Now in Crosslink, it's usually a good idea to go to Crosslink and just check out the building in general. I think this time, unfortunately, we may end up doing our first lethal thing. Sorry, buddy. Uh, that's just to show that you can knock guards out of windows and take them down. You know what? I feel too bad. Let's just restart. Um, I didn't mean for this to be any particular kind of run, but I think I probably will do a non-deaths run anyway. So here are our three uh, main objectives. And this is a good example of one thing you can do in the game, which is basically to cripple your opponents uh, from a distance. So what I'm doing is shutting off all of their abilities to turn off and on um, the lights. And now I turn them all off myself. And you can see they all go for the lights in different places, but they are unable to reach any of them. Now, this guy hasn't moved, and weirdly enough, if I turn off and on the lights again, then he moves. I don't know why the game does that. I suspect it's some kind of bug or something. Maybe it activates him if other people on the floor are already active or something. Not quite sure why that happens. Anyway, now let's open all doors. Oh, and if you open a door when a guy is going by it, it, uh, it isn't that good for him. It doesn't kill him, so I think I'll leave that as is. Anyway... Pack that laptop, as always, I'll put that up in the thread, and we proceed apace. You don't have to knock these guys out, but there's really no reason not to. Uh, I'll watch, if you jump at them, as you see, they can uh, take you out that way, so it's good to go at them from the back. One more to go. And that's everybody. Now here's something that uh, might be fun to show off. As you see, I connected this light switch to this elevator button down here. And with that, I can automatically activate and control which floor the elevator goes to. Not so useful in this level, but who knows what might be useful in the future. Alright. I could jump out of the top here and break the window, but I don't see any reason to. Out to go! Everybody's happy with me. I am a non-lethal ninja. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, Melanie. You are a dangerous lady. They do the femme fatale thing pretty well. Although she's a little bit too self-assured and in control to really be a femme fatale, I guess. So yeah, Conway and Rook. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to do just one more mission in this update, because this is going to introduce really the last main element of the game, the wire jack. All the rest of these things are fun tricks you can do to get around, but the only things you really need to beat the game are, well, eventually the result, but the crosslink and the wire jack are the main two. So. Again, apparently we're posting our services as a uh, agent on some phone network or something. It's like Craigslist for spies. Okay, Katie. She's apparently a little less professional than Melanie is. 
I'm not going to be a jerk. Works at Rook. Interesting. Uh-oh. <laughs> All the security footage was deleted. Hmm. Hard times for you, Katie. So, Melanie's husband. You know what? Let's exactly do that. Let's throw him in some acid. She doesn't know us yet, so she doesn't know that uh, we're kidding. Got it. So she's in big trouble, and she needs us to uh, check up on Jackson. He's up here in his office. Now we can see that we can wire security cameras to do different things. So instead of recording us, they open doors. It's a good idea to shut them off after you're done with them. Okay, go to the green circuit boxes that says, and use it. So stairs again, stairs are a lot quicker than elevators, but you don't have those uh, possible invisibility before we can lurk in the elevator doors. So this down here is a green wire box. We saw one of these on the first level, but now we can use up, uh, we can tap into it, and now all the green things are available. You can only hook reds to reds and greens to greens and such and much like that, however, it is of course a great advantage uh, being able to do this. Turn off lights, because that's what I do. Okay, let's open the doors. And if you'll notice, here's our secret laptop over here. The motion detector is triggered to the door, but we can just disconnect that, walk through the motion detector, no problem. Get the laptop, that'll again be posted in the thread. Big server room here. I like the uh, missile background. Anyway, hook that up. Uh, just to show how that works normally. So this little white square around the office here just means we can get close. So, it looks like Jackson's in something big. Somebody was bugging him. And now they have an incriminating voice message of his or something. Katie will be interested in that. Again, this was just sort of a gimme level to get you used to the new thing. You know what? I'm going to do one more before I close off this time. Just because I want to do a more complicated level. So, Intex. Big multinational company just opened the thing here. Sure. Katie is completely oblivious. Okay, so let's review. Selena Delgado was murdered by somebody who looks kind of like us, and Melanie Rook, who is in charge of the arms company that Selena worked for, uh, cleared our name by helping us erase all the footage of us at the building, making it look like we did it. However, this lady, Katie Collins, was framed for the murder by Jackson, who is Melanie's husband. Uh, we're not really sure what's going on, but there's some incriminating phone call of him by their main competitor, a company called Intex. All this is taking point in East Point. Uh, let's see, I can buy a drop shot now, and I think I will, because a drop shot is handy. Normally, if you drop from too, hall, too far, far of a height, the guards will notice you and get mad at you. Um, and by that I mean kill you instantly. But with the drop shot, dropping from any height is completely silent. It's a nice investment for only 150. 
Okay, we've got two jobs here, and I'm just going to accept the first one, because I'm not going for any particular order. Okay, this is the uh, this is Fritz Gessler. You'll get to know him pretty well. This is the guy who cares about something different than silence. So let's talk about that. Let's be sassy right back. I am as serious as a pulmonary edema. I like that. Got it. So there's a gun ban. She's working on a secret project, and I am going to steal it. I have no qualms about stealing from her, although she seems like a very scary lady. Got it. Now, special requests. As I said earlier, no witnesses. That's going to affect his um, appraisal. Got it. Yeah, Fritz is uh, pretty bombastic, how do you say? Okay, this introduces us to something new. These guards here are enforcers, you can tell, because they're bulkier. You cannot leap on them and knock them out, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, however, you can do some other nasty things to them. Let's turn off the lights, because that's what I do. And, boop, bonk. I don't think a fall like that actually kills them, which is nice. Uh, but it sure does knock them out, and I don't think that leaves a witness if you don't actually lean on them. Now, guards will always turn to face an elevator when they hear it. However, thanks to the invincibility, or the invisibility frames, rather, I wasn't noticed. So now, going up that elevator has turned this bulky guard the other way, leaving me free to go up here. I can now tap into the wire jack, and noticing that as I do, I think we can see a number of things. I could somehow find my way back down here, activate this, uh, and use it to knock him out with this thing, but frankly, there's no reason for that. We hit the lights, we disconnect the light switch so that he can't turn them back on, and just get around him to get the secret laptop, which is up here. Once again, that's going to get put in the thread. Now there's a top skylight here. Activate it, jump up. This is why I like the quick bullfrog charge, because it lets you do stuff like this. Nobody is any the wiser. Let's open this escape door here. Open this. And now it's a simple matter. Easily done. These close automatically after a short time, so that's nice. And with nobody any the wiser, out we go. Brilliant! We're a ghost, which is exactly what he wanted. Non-lethal ghost ninja. I absolutely did get it, Fritz. Cool. All right, so that's the beginning. We've got plenty more to go. We've got jobs from Rook and Collins. We've got mysteries to solve, and we've got more guards to punch and wires to link. So I hope to join me next time for Let's Play.